Hello everybody, Felicia here again with another layout for the Spiegel Bomb Scraps design team. Yes, yes, yes. Boy, okay, so we're gonna start with this <laughs> layout here in that photo. Um, that photo is of me, and yes, I am holding a snake around my neck. My whole entire face shows exactly how I feel about holding that snake right now, and I think it's hilarious because who would have ever thought that I would be holding a, <laughs> a snake in my life? <laughs> oh my gosh, but anyway, so this was when I went down to Belize and I had told myself before I even got on a plane that I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna do everything. You know, I read the itinerary before we went. It was a study abroad trip and yes, I am still scrapping these photos two years later, as a matter of fact and I'm having a ball just scrapping these photos. So uh, what I found is that the, um, the the mix that went well with this was the, um, was the, um, the uh, Tranquil Garden. And it worked out perfect for this layout because everything on this layout worked out um, um, perfectly good with the sequin mist because it is Everything is from my stash in um, this layout, so including all the puffy stickers and things like that that I'm going to be using. So I decided to go ahead and do something different a little bit and make a more cleaner layout this time because <laughs> I've been getting carried away with the with the um, with the sprinkles and the and the and the sequins and just just making a nice little you know. Uh, um, elaborate uh, spreads here lately so but I decided to go ahead and just do a little bit more of a cleaner layout and um, I am using the Tranquil Garden and I love it it has butterflies in it it has blues these dark navy blues in there and it has these awesome awesome greens in there too as well so um, what you see me here dear here uh, excuse me I can't even talk straight what you're seeing me do here is I am putting down these little panels um, to show the variety of colors that are also in the sequin mix and so this actually matches pretty well and um, so I'm layering layering them on top of each other and I'm putting the white on last because that is where my journaling and some more embellishments are going to be put and I found some other goodies in my stash. I found tags, I found all kinds of stuff, puffy stickers, uh, some ephemera and all that other good stuff. So right here, what you see me do, even though those are slightly two different colors, blues, I'm still going to be layering and offsetting that tag. And I forgot to put the um, <laughs> twine. You can see the twine sitting over there. I remember later, but <laughs> oh my gosh, I tell you when you're trying to do layouts, it's hilarious, so. And then I just put that little strip of paper down at the bottom there just to add um, some interest to the bottom so it doesn't look all um, uh, plain. And here you see me adding the twine onto the smaller tag. And then I was like, oh man, right when I was doing that, I was like, oh, I forgot to put the twine on the other one. So um, I decided to go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna be layering some of these embellishments. I just put little tick marks just so I can remember where to put that tag at so that it's not too low and that it fits just right and that that rainbow arrow right there went over it pretty well so now you see me lift it up just a little bit just to get that twine behind there um, and I do work it out so where I didn't have to pull the whole thing up and I did get the twine on there so yay <laughs> yay for me oh my gosh so I'm going to also offset this little circle this is also a little journaling circle as well and I am going to be using up all the space on both the circle and the tag to do my journaling and um, now I am going to start working on putting down uh, the sequences. I'm putting down the butterfly. Now I first started using the glue, but then I realized quickly that, oh, that's right. Because I remember using these before and I had to put tape down. So that's when I remembered, oh yeah, let me put the tape down. So I did just that. And then I used glue for the rest of the sequences. So, and it works really well. The tape, um, the ATG gun tape works perfect for putting down um, adhesive for um, the butterflies because they sit a little flatter. And so that worked out perfect. So now I'm mixing and matching some of the sequences and I'm putting some of the blue on top of the golden butterflies and I'm using a lot of the golden circles and I'm using some of the navy blue circles. And so I'm doing my therapeutic thing here, <laughs> putting down um, all of the sequences. So of course, you know, it's a lot and I know a lot of people don't like to watch that. So I kind of skip over some of that and, and, and I kind of give you little bits and pieces here. So. 
Um, right now I am still putting down some of the butterflies. I'm offsetting some of these butterflies and the tape is working out perfect for these butterflies. So I'm, I'm really liking how this is coming out. And then I'm also adding sequences here and there and to and fro uh, throughout the layout, kind of giving it some more interest and giving it some more excitement. And so that's exactly what I'm doing here. And I'm layering some of the sequences, by the way. And some of the little, this sequence mix, the twang, the tranquil garden mix has um little um um golden like circles that look like they've been wound up like a pinwheel not a pinwheel but like a circle and it's kind of it's really cool because they look like little discs and so i'm putting a lot of those on and then i'm layering either blue or the green uh part of the sequin mix over top of it so now I'm going to put down the title, and the title is Oh Boy, and my face is saying oh, uh, and then I was like, oh boy, when I was putting that, I remember saying that when I was putting this thing around my neck, and yes, I was scared. My heart was beating a mile a minute, but the thing was pretty friendly. Um, it was a, It's a baby python uh, that I have around my neck, so it's not the actual big old python thingy. You now, if that thing had been any bigger, I probably would not have put it around my neck. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I wouldn't have done it. Um, I got close enough. I got about one foot, I think about one foot away from a, uh, a leopard. And I will do that layout sometime soon, hopefully too, as well. Um, I mean, it was a big one too. Uh, <laughs> and, and you could, he's so close that you could just, and I took a video, you can just hear his jaw just snap when he was eating that meat. It was insanely loud. And I was like, oh boy, this is something else. But, um, oh, that's funny. I'm saying, oh boy, and that's the title of my layout. <laughs> I said, oh boy, a lot when I, when I was down there. Oh my goodness. So anyway, so you can see that I put some of those little gold medallion, um, I call it medallion uh, sequences on top of the, the my title there. And then I found this um, puffy sticker that said, good times, <laughs> because I was, I was kind of having a good time at that time, but not quite. So, um. And then I also found some puffy stars about the same color. And I'm like, why not? Let's put stars and sequences and butterflies, you know, make it all happy joy um, for looking there. And um, so that's what I decided to do there. And and then I got, um, uh, let's see, some of the stars down there. And then I had to stop because I was putting on too much stuff here. And so once I figured out and got everything down how I wanted it to, and I found this little puffy camera that actually worked out good and for the layout as well. And um, so then I was pretty much um, done with that except for that particular piece right there, which is what I wanted to put on the layout. And I had to remember to get that on there because um, it just says, uh, it just talks about life stories and stuff, or it says tell the story, I think it says, I can't remember because um, I don't have the layout in front of me right now. And, I, you know, that is a bad habit that I have of not having the layout in front of me when I am doing my voiceovers. <laughs> well, now I'm on to the journaling, and I will be done soon here with this layout. But I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. And be sure to tune in or to shop at Spiegel Mom's shop because she does have some awesome, awesome sequences that goes with a lot of your kits in your stash. So thanks guys for watching and have a great and wonderful scrappy week. Take care. Bye-bye.